Swedish driving test as you all know one of the toughest exam in the world and probably that's why you are watching this video today I am going to share my experience and some of the tips which probably helpful to you if you are going to take the exam or you want to pass the Swedish driving test so I have failed two times and each time you fail you know that it is so expensive that your 10,000 crore for each fail 10 most important tips what I think it could be helpful for all of you those who are watching this video and then I will I'll also I will also describe what was the my mistake in each thing so tip number one tip number one is before the test the previous night you have to really sleep well eat well and sleep well and don't overthink about the test all the time and it happens to all of us like when we fail like we think and rethink because this exam is top so sleep well eat well don't overthink and then you'll get your confidence so don't be nervous tip number one is the, about the confidence so it should reflect from your face when you go there when you drive it should it should you know that it it should be reflected in your body so that other person who is sitting the examiner is sitting in your next seat then he or she can feel that you are confident even if you feel nervous from inside but still you know that your actions would tell uh, that you are confident they know that everybody every new person is little bit nervous so that is okay little bit nervous is okay but you should be confident enough the, my second tip is okay because in why i failed fast two times is whenever I go to the test previous night or previous uh, few days I was thinking and rethinking whether this time I'm going to pass or this time I, again I'm going to fail my theory test will expire so so many things it automatically comes into mind and then when I pass this is one of the thing I learned that okay forget about the result just go and do your test do give your hundred percent and then don't expect any result and you will get surprised that you will pass so my tip number two is placement of the car so each time you drive or each square you drive or each road you drive that placement of the car is really really important where you are placing your car in the country road whether in the middle of the uh, lane or right side left side so where you are placing your car in the normal uh, city driving then again in any uh, square you go that if you are taking the left turn then are you placing your car in the right side or going towards the left side so if you are conceptually clear and then you execute in the right way then it will be fine so I was not placing my car, sometime I was placing and sometime I was not placing the car correctly. So that was my second mistake but also the tip number two is placing your car at the right spot or right place on the road. My third tip is like roundabout. So in any test, in 30 minute test, you have to go through like at least 10 to 12 roundabouts. like going for the test and then while you are coming back some of the roundabouts you can go through and each roundabout is important so whenever you go for a roundabout what i was doing in the whenever there is a roundabout or a little bit more crowded many cars are coming then i felt like nervous so don't be nervous while entering into the roundabout just focus left side of your um, whatever the cars coming from the left side forget about the right side 
and plan little bit ahead whether which lane you are going to take or which exit you are going to take first exit second exit uh, or third exit if you are going to the first exit and second exit then keep your uh, car on the right lane and then wait for your time to enter to the roundabout don't be in a hurry uh, to enter so one time i failed because i i was uh, like pressing brakes too many times like i can go then again putting the brake stops so up and down up and down so don't do that plan it little bit ahead and then go into the roundabout and as soon as you go enter into the roundabout and then probably you uh, go a bit quicker Uh, don't like don't break or don't go slower inside the roundabout when you get a chance to enter enter and then you go whichever exit you wanted to go uh, but one of the most important thing in the roundabout if you are going to the going through the left lane let's say you are exiting through the third exit or fourth exit so changing of the lane is one of the important thing but whenever you change lanes you do it as you used to do it in normal roads but don't forget to look blind spot and before exiting you must indicate okay so uh, my tip number 4 is about the blind spot blind spot is one of the such a important thing like every time you take a turn you have to have to you must check blind spot if you are going to take left turn you check left side blind spot if you are taking the right turn you check right side blind spot indicate check the right side blind spot and this is not like you are checking the blind spot but it is also you should convey the signal to the examiner that you are checking blind spot so don't do like this but do like this move your body and check really the blind spot if you are taking the right turn or if you are taking the left turn so blind spot is one of the most crucial thing if you want to pass swedish driving test then my tip number 5 is parking if you have done practice parking uh, really well then you can do it right so examiner can ask you either forward parking or reverse parking uh, or parallel parking so three types of parking are there so anyone uh, examiner can ask you at any point in time so let's do parking so one of the most important tip uh, according to me is like creep your uh, vehicle very very slowly and for the parking it is not important inside the line whether you are keeping it is really really perfectly aligned with the line of the uh, parking area but it is most important how you check outside outside of the car so do it slowly observe check mirror regularly creep slowly slowly and do the parking and if you are Uh, not satisfied go out and check if there is a inside the line or not and then you can readjust but do it slowly take it slowly so one of the uh, important tip about the parking is if you are parking like if a examiner says that okay let's park in this mall or in this parking area so don't choose a spot uh, near to the entrance because many cars are coming and going exiting from that side so it it will add another extra pressure to you so go and take the somewhere in the middle or somewhere in the little bit far so that uh, you can do uh, your parking confidently okay uh, tip number 6 is entry and exit to the motorways or highways so while entering to the motorways like uh, you have the acceleration lane so as soon as you see the sign speed limit sign 
you have to accelerate uh, within few seconds so accelerate uh, but don't exceed the speed limit and then you check again uh, the joining lane and when you see the joining lane then you check the left mirror and also the uh, blind spot again but again you have to mutually uh, understand each other if there is a car coming uh, through the uh, highways before so and then try to keep again the placement of the car try to keep your vehicle on the right lane because most of the time left lane they are uh, highly speeding cars are going on some people they don't follow the rules or speed uh, speed sign so then you will get confused so you keep in the right lane and then another thing another important thing is like you keep the distance uh, between the vehicles and then exiting while you exit don't slow down until you exit with the same speed don't don't slow down okay tip number seven uh, tip number seven is the speed limit so anytime you have to be really really careful about the speed limit during the city drive uh, during the uh, during the uh, while you drive in country road while you drive in motorways don't never ever exceed the speed limit always always you go little bit lower uh, than the speed limit it is uh, hard to control uh, like one or two uh, let's say 40 km per hour speed limit then don't go like 45 or uh, 50 if it is 70 km per hour speed then don't go never ever go up little bit lower it's always better and you have to be careful in the while you are doing this while you are going for the city drive then there are places where you can go for the 40 speed limit and then it is suddenly you can see that there is a school area or somewhere it becomes 30 km per hour speed limit so speed limit try to keep the speed limit within within the speed limit my next tip or tip number eight is uh, lane changes while you do lane changes it is such an important thing like while you do the changing of the lane then uh, never ever indicate uh, what was my mistake was i was indicating first and then indicating the other drivers that i am uh, trying to changing lane but that is not correct you have to access the situation you have to see the forward cars you have to see the following cars uh, through the mirrors how far they are uh, there and then is it a safe to change the lanes so first look a couple of times uh, reverse the rear mirror side mirrors and the uh, and then you assess the situation and then only you try to change the lane and when you try to when you make sure that when you are 100 uh, percent sure then you indicate and then check the blind spot and then change the lane so that is the another tip so uh, my next tip is uh, tip number nine is never ever uh, do a fast movement or uh, uh, you can say the risky movement uh, some of the if you are a experienced driver you feel that it is a it is a not risky for you because you you can control but it should if it is the risk if the examiner feels that it is a risky movement then you get failed because you don't know that you do the reason is that you are not able to assess the situation what is maybe it is not a risk for you but it is risk for others so never ever do the uh, first moment so don't do the impulsive driving like uh, there is a uh, yellow light coming and then uh, it is the about to come the red light but never uh, uh, push the pedal uh, gas pedal and then go uh, go very fast uh, so that kind of movement uh, uh, if you do the, that kind of movement then you are <laughs> going to be failed so never ever do this uh, fast and furious or uh, fast and risky movement so go it uh, slow with control so uh, tip number 10 on, and the last tip uh, you need definitely little bit of lock 
on that particular day but that is not under your control so this is the thing never ever give up if you are failed then you can rectify it and if by chance you fail or i hope you don't fail but sometimes you know you fail like i failed two times so it is not in my control but try to listen what is with the examiner's comment don't get angry or annoyed or mad and then try to try to understand that or try to you can ask you can ask uh, never get mad uh, about the examiner's comment so calm down and then ask examiner like what is the major major mistake what do you need to improve and that is actually exactly uh, i have done in when i failed second time and my examiner explained me like what was the major major mistake like i did a major mistake in in a roundabout i did a major mistake in a county road while i was um, i was supposed to uh, take a right turn but i was very slow and there was a, a following car was uh, there and we have like yeah so that kind of things happened then then i realized that i practice more on that particular points and next time i got passed so that is the best time to get the feedback if you fail then you can ask very clearly note it down then and there then what are the points you need to improve for the next time and then practice on that and all the best for your surcoat for your driving test so i hope this uh, tips uh, are going to be helpful for you and implement it and let me know in the comment section uh, what tips you like or what you don't like and if you can share some experiences uh, what happened to your test or what you feel write in the comment section hello